Mystery creates wonder, and wonder is the basis of man's desire to understand. Neil Armstrong. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening. My name is Muhammad Nur Akib bin Faizan and I'm from 3SKMV. I will talk about the new 7 wonders of the world. During the year 2000 to 2007, there is a campaign held to choose the new 7 wonders of the world between 200 monuments. Before I begin my presentation, let me tell you what I will talk about. First, I will start with the Taj Mahal in India, an ivory white marble mausoleum on the south bank of the Yamuna River in the India city of Agra. Then, I will discuss about Machu Picchu in Peru, a 15th century Inca citadel located in the eastern cordillera of southern Peru on a 2430-meter mountain range. And finally, I will end with Petra, Jordan, originally known to its inhabitants as Rakmu. Now that you are aware of the overview, let's begin with the symbol of the love between Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal, which is Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was commissioned by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in year 1631 to be built in the memory of his wife Mumtaz Mahal. His wife died on June 17 that year when giving birth to their 14th child, Gawhara Begum. Taj Mahal is also a house to the, of the tomb of Shah Jahan and his favorite wife. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17 hectare complex which includes a mosque and a guest house. The second wonders of the world is the estate of the Inca Emperor Pakachuti, the Machu Picchu. The estate was built around the year 1415 but abandoned in a century later at the time of Spanish conquest. But it was not known to the Spanish during the colonial period and remained unknown to the outside world until Hiram Begum, an American historian, brought it to the international attention in the year 1991. Machu Picchu was built in the classical Inca style with polished dry stone walls. Its three primary structures are the Intihuatana, the Temple of the Sun, and the Room of the Three Windows. Last but not least, I will talk about an Arabian historical and archaeological city, Petra. The city is famous for its rocks, cut architecture, and water conduit system. For its water control, an excavation have demonstrated that it was the ability of the Nabataeans to control the water supply that led to the rise of the desert city, creating an artificial oasis. The area is visited by the flash floods, but archaeologically, evidence shows that the Nabataeans controlled these floods by the use of dam system and water conduits. This innovation stopped water and prolonged periods of drought and enabled the city to prosper from its seal. The access roads to Petra In ancient time, Petra might have been approached from the south on a track leading across the plain of Petra, around Jabal Harun, which is Aaron's mountain. The location of the tomb of Aaron said to be the burial place of Aaron, the brother of Moses. Another approach was possibly from the high plateau to the north. In conclusion, what you should take away from this is there are uh, many wonders of the world that we don't know. Therefore, we need to read to increase our knowledge about the wonders around the world and never stop learning. This is because the river of knowledge has no depth. Thank you and Assalamualaikum. That's all for me.